What's going on guys, Brad here from bradscottvisuals.com and today I finally got to do my first real test flight with my new octocopter um, multi-rotor drone, whatever you guys want to call it, but this is a multi-rotor RC helicopter uh, mine is an octocopter so it has eight props, eight propellers and eight arms and it runs on two 5,000 milliamp lipo batteries. Uh, I've got a gimbal on the bottom made by Photoship One um, with my Panasonic GH4 on there so it's 4K capable uh, meaning I can record 4K resolution video which is cinematic quality. Uh, I also like the GH4 because it shoots 96 frames per second uh, in the variable frame rate setting on there which looks really great for aerial shots as well um, so basically here I was just testing it out uh, I just put some new propellers on there so I was making sure everything was running smoothly um, flying it in attitude mode first and then GPS mode um, after that just to test out both different modes there. Uh, GPS mode is more stable, it kind of uh, hovers in the same GPS location and then if you uh, mess around with the joysticks it'll be a little slower to react. And then attitude mode is um, still very stable but it has a little uh, more of a free movement when you're turning the joysticks. So I was basically just doing a really short quick little test flight here in the big open uh, parking lot so I didn't have to worry about hitting any cactuses or um, bushes or anything. I would hate to have to go running after this thing um, if anything wasn't working right in the desert and get a bunch of stickers in me. So I uh, did a first test flight there and then what I'm doing here is I'm turning on my Panasonic GH4. Uh, I then plug in the gimbal um, and there's a switch on the gimbal so my Photoship One gimbal is running on a separate battery system I'll show you guys that in a later video I'll show you all the different components um, as you can see it rotates when I turn it on so I just want to make sure that the back of the octocopter is basically aligned up with the back of the camera uh, this runs on two two different remotes. Uh, I have my girlfriend controlling the camera gimbal. Uh, it's got full 360 uh, rotation as well as full roll, um, 180 roll so you can go 90 to the left, 90 degrees to the right. Um, we usually just leave that right on right in the middle there and then it has um, a tilt that goes all the way down so I can face my camera down. So as you can see here I'm just testing it out while it's on the ground pushing forward backwards side to side and rotating it before I launch. Now this multi-rotor setup is capable of carrying uh, basically any DSLR camera and then also the Sony FS700 so um, I can carry the Sony FS700 and get some super slow motion stuff uh, 240 frames per second uh, if anyone's interested in flying their Sony FS700 uh, just hit me up in a private message um, but yeah this thing is a ton of fun I can't wait to uh, get it into some different locations um, start shooting some uh, action sports with it some nice scenics at the beach uh, I would love to take it overseas to places like Thailand and Bora Bora. There's just a lot of different laws going on in different countries um, that I need to check up on, make, making sure I'm not going to get arrested for being a spy or something. This thing's pretty uh, pretty crazy looking. It's a large platform. Um, the props, the propellers um, are 15 inches across, so that gives you an idea of how big this thing is. Um, the GH4 is it's a little bit smaller than the Canon DSLR cameras, but you can still see that the the multi-rotor dwarfs the camera. It just makes it look so small when it's actually a pretty decent sized camera on there. Um, so I was just getting a feel of it today uh, with the new propellers on there. 
Um, not the best conditions out. It's a little cloudy. Um, the lighting wasn't that great. There was a tiny bit of drizzle uh, earlier, but we waited for that rain to stop and uh, managed to get a nice little uh, eight to ten minute test flight. So um, basically, I was just doing some straight runs uh, on a nice horizontal axis, panning the camera down, doing rotations, going up in the air, stuff like that. So you can see here's the test footage coming straight from the GH4. I color corrected it a little bit. Um, I was actually, I've been using the Newman Film uh, presets for Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects a lot lately for color correcting. They just save a lot of time. I hate doing uh, a lot of color correcting in After Effects just manually. It takes forever, so you can just drop on the uh, the Newman Film pre Newman Film presets, and there you go. But uh, for the landing, I just like to make sure it's in a nice open area. I give it a few blips right as uh, as it's about to land, and then land it nice and softly. Put the controllers right in the downward center position and then that cuts all the propellers and I just make sure I keep my remote on uh, while I'm unplugging the batteries and then it's it's safe to uh, go up next to it unplug everything and get everything turned off and packed up so I hope you love this video guys uh, please comment with any questions remember to subscribe to my channel and uh, just ask me any questions. Uh, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see with this thing. I'm super excited about it, and uh, I can't wait to do more videos for you. See ya.